appreciate you always being here. I want to, too, thank – we had a great crowd today, great crowd. Um, obviously disappointing how how we played. It's on, on me. We talked a lot about what we needed to do in this game. It was the first time I felt like we didn't follow through, you know, really with the scouting report. But but I do want to say this. I think Illinois is very good. So tip of the hat, they, they played really, really well. He's a really good coach. They got really good players. And, and we obviously have to play better. Um, you know, against the team of that caliber. But um, thankful that our crowd showed up. Thankful for their support. I thought for a few minutes there we played really good Rutgers basketball. But it's a 40-minute game and, you know, just, just not on point the way we needed to be to, to beat a ranked team and a really good and well-coached team. Steve, you did four seventeen turnovers, but how do you account for 55 to 27 on the glass? Yeah, I mean uh, – that's the most turnovers they had this season. But um, again, you, you know, we just didn't do what we needed to do on the backboards. Uh, we didn't get our own offensive rebounds, and we missed a lot. Um, and they they manhandled us on the glass. And, uh, you know, I'm not happy with that. I, I know these guys. I think this team is good. Um, we got to figure that out. Obviously, when you're playing a team, they had size at every position. You know, their point guard was 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, you know, I knew that would be you know an issue for us, but didn't think it would be that kind of a that kind of an issue. But tip of the hat, they had to go get them, and they did. And we had a few that came out of our hands, and we had some offensive rebounds that just got taken from us. And you know, a lot of different things happen when when you don't rebound like that. And and they got us every which way you can get us on the backboards. Steve, they came in with the best two point defense in the country. I think you guys shot something like 25% on twos. How much of that was that making things difficult for you guys? How much of that was your guys struggling yeah. to score? Well, I, w I will tell you. I mean, they're very good. That's the first thing. But um, I saw them on tape a lot and, and, you know, every game, seeing them live, you know, you, you really kind of appreciate the size that they, that they have. Um, hard to finish at the rim when, when big guys are all over the place. Uh, but I do think we had opportunities. Like, we had some layups. We could have kind of. You know, we got a couple in and out. We had a lob dunk that maybe could have got the crowd going and was in and out. Um, you know, you need all those things to happen for you, and it didn't. But, you know, again, that's a good defensive team, and, and, and they were much better than us today. And uh, we got to get better. Well, these guys have pride themselves. We got some good leadership in this room, and we got we to gotta get better. It's a long season. Steve, your starting five struggled opening both halves. Is there a thought maybe to have maybe shaking up the starting five going forward? I mean, we just won five games in a row, so, you know, and we settled in after that. Um, but we'll look at everything. But, you know, we won five games in a row with that starting five, so that's not the first thing on my mind after a game like this. The, the backboards really are. And, you know, we got to come out with a little more energy, obviously, in the second half, but we have been. We have been. Tonight was a night we didn't. And, and uh, we'll look at everything, but, you know, these – these guys are good, and, and we'll figure it out. Coach, uh, on that note, what did you make of how your team came out of the gate to start the second half? Yeah, I, no, it was not what I wanted. I thought we ended the first half the right way. I thought we kind of took, you know, it's always a game of runs. They they made a run on us. We made a run, got ourselves back, you know, where we needed to be. Um, and again, the last game we started off, I think, a 23-7 to seven run in the second half. So we had, you know, and, and today we didn't. The ball wasn't falling. Um, I was a little disappointed that, you know, when the ball wasn't falling, I thought it affected our defense. Um, and, and that can't be the case. You know, this is one of those games where you could still, you know, keep yourself hanging around if you just continue to, you know, plug through some, some difficult stretches. And, and we certainly didn't do that in the second half today. Uh, with what Terrence Shannon is able to do, I guess what makes him such a difficult player just to kind of limit on both ends of the floor? I mean, he's obviously he's he's playing at an unbelievable level, and, he, and he's really uh, not only is he a man physically and he's athletic as could be, but he's really shooting the ball this year. I mean, a huge um, – he must have spent a ton of time because he's really improved, and now he gets you in transition, he gets you in the half-court sets. I mean, he's playing as well as anybody in the country. And, um, you know, he's been around a while. He's he's mature. Um, you know, I thought we would kind of mix it up with him. It didn't seem like anyone we put on him really, you know, really was able to affect. And he got us in transition too early, like just physically got us in transition. So um, tip of the hat to him. He's improved a ton, and he was a good player before. Um, during your uh, – during late in the first half, during your guys' run, Austin Williams really seemed to drive that run. What did you see from him during that run throughout the game? I mean, Austin, you know, um, 
again, as a man, like he's been in these games and just trying to get him healthy, you know, really, because he's going to help us a ton. He's real physical. Um, he's able to score, um, but he's also able to defend. And, you know, him, like when, when I look at minutes and I look at rebounds, like your minutes have to match your rebounds. And he was able to get four rebounds and he's outsized in, in, in that game in, in, in a short period of time. And, um, you know, he's got to continue to do that too for us. So got to keep him healthy, got to get him a really good feel for what, what we're trying to do. But, you know, Austin, like Andre, these guys are veteran guys and they, they, need, to, they need to help this team. Yeah. Coach Cliff, Cliff went three of ten. He had five turnovers. Um, one, what do you think they did that made it hard on him? And are you concerned at all about his offensive uh, struggles? Well, I mean, I, I just think you know, I thought he got some good post position. I thought he had a lot of shots that went in and out, and you know, it just wasn't his night. Um, he did get eight blocks, I think. I think a career high. And Cliff does a lot of things for us, but you know, sometimes in this game, you got 30, 31 games, whatever you have. Sometimes not your night, and uh, you know, he'll get back to work and. You know, give them credit too. They put a lot of different bodies on them, and you know they're very big and they're very physical. Cliff is getting so much defensive attention, as you alluded to, Steve. How much of this is him having to get used to being tops on the opponent's scouting report? Well, I mean, it always changes every year. You know, when you're the top guy in the scouting report, and and they had time to prepare for us too. They had a lot of time. Um, you know, he's going to get that. He's going to get that. And, and he has to be better than the scouting report. We talk about that a lot of times, you know, and people think, oh, just throw them the ball down there. Well, they came with different looks and they came with guys that were reaching around and coming from the backside, the front side, um, you know. But um, Cliff, you know, Cliff has got to understand that, you know, guys are keying on him when we throw him the basketball, too. We had some turnovers and we're getting better at not turning the ball over. But the ones we had, we're trying to force it into him at that time, too. So, um, you know, it's a team collective effort. You know, um, Cliff's good. You know, tonight wasn't his night, but, you know, uh, better days ahead, hopefully. Coach, uh, what lessons do you think your backcourt can take away from this as you move on and now focus ahead of uh, Wake Forest coming up in a few days? Yeah, I mean, I, I just think, you know, our backcourt, first of all, just like any, they got a rebound for us. Um, very important that everyone, it's team rebounds, it's not me, and it's on coaches, it's on me to figure this out. Um, I didn't have these guys where they needed to be with that, and, and I got to look at my approach. Like, we just didn't get them in a place where, you know, transition D was huge and rebound on the ball was was emphasized, um, you know, enough. And, and, and I thought we did a great job with that, but, you know, obviously we didn't. But our guards got to help out in that area. They got to block out. They got to corral long rebounds, and they got to stick their nose in there too and get them. But, you know, that backcourt's interesting. Jay Mike plays with great energy. Noah is crafty. and. You know, Derek, it wasn't his night, but Derek's, you know, continuing to improve too as a player and hopefully his big, big 10 basketball. And you saw last night, Purdue and Northwestern's good. I mean, people can say, you know, and Indiana's, you know, you know, good. And you watch these teams play, they're really good. So uh, we got to get better and our backcourt got to learn lessons from today and, and take it with them as we move forward. Steve, you guys went nine for 23 on layups today. How, is it, how do you clean that up going forward? Yeah, we'll, we've, we've been spending a lot of time in, you know, those areas. And, uh, again, they're the best two-point defensive team, you know, in the country, too. So you've got to give them a little credit. They've done a really good job of, of keeping you away from the rim. we got to finish more layups, you know, Cliff, a couple more dunks. You know, we got to kind of take care of that. But, you know, on the backboards is where we were really hurt tonight. You know, you know we could have withstood all that if we only limited them to one shot and we did a better job on the backboards. Last one. Uh, Steve, you guys are going on the road. Next week, two times, first time in a month. Uh, do you feel like this team is prepared to go on the road? And is there anything you guys do this week to prepare? For yeah, you got to keep getting better. That's every year, guys, with every team. There's a journey to your season. You know, hopefully, um, you know, we took a punch today. We got to get off the mat. We're playing a really good, we play good teams for the rest of the year. So, um, you know, we got to continue to get better. These guys work at it, which I like. Um, we still got a lot of new pieces and going through some experiences for the first time with them. But, you know, we got to go on the road now and start, you know, playing better basketball and, and, and you know, huge tests coming up in the next couple, next couple weeks.